Hello all, back with our another summary for our Client of the Darkness, a Mage the Awakening campaign. So, uh, the group had returned to the bar, finding someone they suspected to be Question, a Guardian of the Veil who was brought in during the Abyssal situation. Question made it clear that he wanted to search through Starmere's head, and the group had suspicions, and for good reason, as their magic told that that wasn't the whole truth. During all this, Opal decided to make her way back to her garden, not wanting to do anything with this particular guardian. While the others quizzed and realized that this guardian lied a lot, and purposefully to avoid magic being able to detect exactly what was going to happen. Eventually the group declined the offer, and with a tip, quick tip of his hat, question left. Or at least possibly someone pretending to be questioned. With that, the group decided they needed a rest and to see the Concilium. Early the next morning, they made their way to the Concilium, uh, playing meet up Opal there. Opal, meanwhile, continued her studies, planting pieces of Starmere, growing up a small goblinoid homunculus who raided her kitchen and caused her a little bit of grief before she destroyed it utterly. The group then met up at the Concilium, uh, hoping to meet with the acting Hierarch. Once there, they gave their report to the Hierarch, who seemed very concerned and brought up a few other concerns that weren't quite solved yet in the city. She wanted to know what the group was going to focus on so that she knew where to direct the others of the city for the few days left that she was Hierarch, and then hoping to be able to step down and someone step up. With that, the group managed to get from the Hierarch Augustus to escort them to one of the known guardians of the city in order for Starmere to plead their case. Augustus brought them to a guardian whose cover was as a high-class lawyer, being brought up to one of the higher levels of a building in a large law concilium, not concilium, large corporation. Uh, they brought them to a floor that had several lawyers on it, several clients, and very closed-up offices. The secretary there brought out the guardian, and Augustus quietly excused himself before the guardian arrived. Quite angry to have his sleeper situation mingled with the mage politics, he called everyone to the office. As they began to explain, he began to calm considerably. He eventually, after hearing some, decided that he wanted to speak to Starmere alone. During this time, Opal managed to convince the secretary to go get some coffee, and she would just wash the desk for her. So she took her lunch break and headed out, and the others waited patiently as Starmere continued to explain about the situation. As the guardian began to ask leading questions, he began unlocking his desk drawer. It was as he was drawing a gun as far as anyone was able to tell, and took a shot when the others stepped back in. In a heartbeat, the newest member of the Cabal laid his hammer into the side of this guardian's head, nearly killing him. Magic was thrown up to prevent the person from dying quickly, and Opal was summoned in. Uh, we left off there. With the weapon thrown across the room, the bullet completely missing, and everyone in an awkward situation in this back room at a law office. Alright guys, hope everyone's having a good week, and I will see you next game. Bye for now.